All right, first guest of the day, Noah Bad Omens. It's early. I mean, it's not even that early, but we're kind of like, <laughs> man, first one. We're knocking it out. Welcome yeah. to Rockville. You excited to play? I'm very excited. Are you going to be yes. playing the new song? Yes. Yes, we are. It is so fucking heavy. It's <laughs> crazy. And what is the title of, of the single on the new record? Uh, the Death of Peace of Mind. February 25th. 25th. It's the title track of the record, too. It was crazy, and I was just saying to you, I was watching the video, and I was like, where's Noah? What's going <laughs> on? Like, I don't know what's happening right now. And then there were a few photos, too, mm -hmm. and I, like, didn't see you in them. Or, well, your hair's short now, yeah. so you got a whole new look. Whole new look. Yeah. How did it feel to chop the locks? It felt great, honestly. Did it? I feel like it was long overdue. I've, I've had long hair, like, my entire life. I don't think I've ever seen this far up into my neck before. <laughs> like, sentient, you know? Yeah. Uh... And yeah, I just, there really wasn't anything that sparked it. I just, one day I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. Yeah. You know, enough time has passed. Maybe I'll like it now. It's like a new chapter. Really like, it, yeah. it sounds so like lame because it's hair, but it really, mm. it's like your comfort zone. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you have long hair, it's like, yeah. okay, it's protecting me. And then you chop it all off. And right, right. Afterwards, good. I was a little worried. I was like, man, am I going to hate this? Like most people do after they cut their hair, but I, I love it. Yeah. I'm so happy with it. I wish I'd done it sooner. Next thing I know, you're going to be bald and have a tattooed head. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> the next step, you know? We're halfway there. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> and you want to watch Metallica tonight? You were yeah, saying. Yeah, we, we really want to. I don't know if we're going to be able to. We have a bit of a long drive. Where do you guys have to go? Uh, we're going to Destin tomorrow, I think. Oh, do you, are um, you playing a show? Yeah, we're on tour with Ice Nine Kills right now. Right. And you know what? I'm like, was trying to find all this online, but because you archived everything on your Instagram, I'm like, <laughs> God damn. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, you guys are out with Ice Nine Kills. How's yeah, that been so far? It's amazing. Yeah. We're only two shows in, but the shows are incredible. Yeah. I think they both sold out. Um, There's a, over half that are sold out. Yeah, I think so. I'm, yeah. I, I haven't heard too much about it, but I know the last two did, and um, their fans are just awesome. They're like really receptive to our music yeah. too. And, I can see why, like, you know, we have, like, you know, sense of, like, pageantry and, like, you know, kind of theatrics and stuff in our music like they do, and it's cool. It's a great, it's been a great It's tour. a good mesh. Like, I yeah. feel like you it guys are very, very great. Yes, yeah. you, very great together, and, you know, mm -hmm. with all this COVID shit going on, I know that being on tour is a lot more restricted, and yeah. <laughs> there are a lot more rules, but have you been able to, like, hang out with the guys in Ice Nine Kills? We, we've gotten to know each other a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's been very brief, because obviously everyone's trying to, like, respect the protocols and whatnot, but just because of those protocols we all kind of have to hang out outside most of the time and we have our tent up and they'll come and say what's up and it's cool like it sounds like warp tour all yeah, over again i was thinking that we have our warp tour tent that we just put up every day behind our our van and yeah. we just hang out there and they come and say hi and you know we, we've acknowledged the the weirdness that it's like hey we want to hang but we don't know like what's appropriate yet so we're still totally. feeling it out you know like mask it up when you're around each yeah. other and all that <laughs> stuff but at least everyone here in this room we have to show our negative tests and vaccinations yes. just an fyi <laughs> so we don't have our masks yes. on but i think an ice nine kills and bad omens collaboration would be that would be cool right cool. i i think because you and spencer really do have completely different voices mm. it's like especially with you when you sing but it sounds like this new music isn't gonna have a lot of singing yeah i mean uh i don't know i want people to be surprised so that's, that's all yeah you say. were saying that at, <laughs> at incarceration you're like eh, i don't really we'll want to say much about it because i just want it to be like a shock to everybody but with this first single if you haven't heard it it is so freaking heavy I've, and i love I've it i've read like the comments and stuff and the reactions and i've I like that people just don't know what's going on, Yeah, you know, because that's, if anyone that knows our band, they know, like, we're going to do whatever. It's a thrill will, for, you know? for like, fans, too, though. It'll be all over the place like it always is, so, you know, I think people should just enjoy the ride, and you know, there's some songs you don't like, don't listen to them. Yeah, you know, exactly. Like well, I'm looking forward to your set today. I can't wait to watch, and I, I'm hoping I do if yeah. I'm not, like, slammed in here, but I appreciate you sitting down with me being my first interview of the day. Welcome to Rockville, Happy throwing to it to Space Zebra on Twitch.